So I wanted to give a little backstory as to my why and how I got to where I am. Uh, in 2015, I had my first son and I developed severe preeclampsia with him at 33 weeks and then had a seizure holding him the next day in the NICU. And that just started a whole string of PTSD and anxiety um, and not a great way to jump into motherhood. And then two and a half years later, we had our second son and I developed severe preeclampsia with him, but developed or delivered him at 38 weeks and everything was fine after that um, as far as health and him. No extended hospital stays, but I did develop some postpartum uh, that was really hard um, on top of the previous PTSD. And then two and a half years later, in January of 2020, we had our daughter and she was born with trisomy 18 and she lived for five days in her arms before dying, also in her arms. And as everyone knows, March of that year, COVID hit and it just sent us into this hole of anxiety and worry and stress and the grief that was already there and forming. And then two and a half years later, we had our last child, our third son, um, developed uh, gestational diabetes with him, but by far was the easiest pregnancy uh, to manage and to kind of get through. Um, and, you know, right after that pregnancy or that delivery, I was able to drop down that initial weight, but it was ultimately stuck. I was stuck at that weight uh, from when we found out about our daughter when we got her diagnosis. And I decided that's um, actually, sorry, I've got to rewind. Um, that summer after we had her, we had her in January, and then in August, I decided to do like a hardcore, like try all the different types of therapies and interventions and helps and see if I can't get unstuck and that was a biggest thing is that I've been so stuck within the trauma and survival mode and my body has been so stuck and even with meeting and with nutritionists and with my counselors and all of the other things that I've been trying I couldn't get unstuck and um my big why right is so that I obviously can be more healthy but it's so that I can play with my kids but really the deep down thing is that I needed something to jump start and get that push because I know I needed to do this because there was a part of me that was holding on to the weight and the trauma and the stress of it all um, because this was the body where she was the safest for the longest that's this is where she lived for the longest was in in me and so there's that element of if I have that big belly I can still have that that remembrance and that holding her of you know remembering her there um and I've known all along it's it's in my head and that is something um that I just was holding on to and I knew to move forward with my family and with my kids and that are here with me now and for my own health I needed to make a change and all through December I told my husband I'm not doing anything crazy in January I just want to sit with my grief this year because I feel like I hadn't really been able to do it yet and lo and behold that did not happen did it um my friend Tina uh, uh the, my coach had posted about this and I was just like let's just jump into it I've want to start saying yes to things and making these changes let's I'm gonna go like let's do this and so I started this and with tracking my macros and working out and in the morning and then getting my walks in in the afternoon things started to change my not just my weight um but just my ability to handle stressful situations. And let me tell you, there were a lot of them right around the anniversary of our daughter's birth and death and uh, my husband's birthday. And just there are a lot of things happened and typically in years past that would have put me under. I would have been out. I would have been a mess. I wouldn't have been able to function and make food and play and do anything and just kind of drudge around the house and drudge around life and feel overwhelmed with everything. And that didn't happen this year. And there was just all these little ripples, all these little changes that have come out of this eight weeks. And not just my overall health, not just my weight loss, but the anxiety is less. The 
the ability to handle situations, stressful, harder situations is so much easier. When I get stuck in a little grief rut, it is short. It's not something that's consuming me for days or weeks or an entire month right now. And it feels good. It just feels so good. And again, those ripple effects, right? Like my oldest, his counselor even said, hey, he's been, something's been different the last month and a half. Like some big things have changed for him. She's like, do you know what it is? And I'm like, ah, oh. I was like, as crazy as it sounds, it's like, it's me. Like I'm just, my life has been changing. I've been making all these changes for me and I can handle all of the things that come with raising three boys while living in grief and survival mode. And so in these eight weeks, there's been changes for each of my kids and for my husband and for me. And it's all been so good. And I just am so grateful for this jumpstart to this, to this change. This isn't just eight weeks and done. Like we are, we're in this and we're looking to get an RV for this summer and just travel and have fun because we haven't been able to, because I've been so overwhelmed and anxious and riddled with grief and anxiety and a lot of what ifs and when this happens then I'll do that but you know what I'm just starting to say yes and we're doing things and this has been the catalyst this has been the jump start and so yes while I've lost my 20 pounds it's the start of that I still have so much to go so much further to go but we're starting to live life again and we're not in survival mode and it's so good to be feeling that that next nudge that I'm next like the next thing has happened the next good thing has happened and we're gonna keep going and so I'm so grateful for this competition and just to have had this experience